Hi, I'm Freddie Clark. It's no secret that we've all got a lot of time on our hands right now, but going outside may not be the best idea. Well, if you're home, plenty of time on your hands, find stuff to shoot at home. We're all cooking more these days, so take something you've cooked, find a nice natural window light, uh, you know, window pane around your house, and set your dish near that light. Place your camera so the light is coming across or behind that dish, and shoot away. Just like portraits, though, be sure the light is not coming from the same direction as your camera. So that's going to create unflattering flat light. But backlight, side light, all will look great. Gray or rainy day, no problem. You can still shoot. Work on creating your own light and play with artificial light. Grab a lamp. Maybe you have a speed light hanging around. Throw it on a, on a light stand. Place it in the same position that you would have with the sun or the back or the side and go for it. See how it goes. Play with it. Have a good time with it. Find an inanimate object. Try your hand at some still life. This is a great chance to get yourself comfortable using artificial light. Try the classic project of shooting an egg and moving your light and camera around that egg so it's creating different effects and different views and you'll see exactly how the light is changing as you move around the egg and makes the egg look different each and every shot. It's a lot of fun. You can kill a lot of time with that, believe me. When I was uh, starting out in photography, one of the best projects I ever did to learn about lighting was my daughter had one of those Barbie plastic uh, makeup heads. It's like a full-size head, but just a head and like shoulders. And, you know, it was made to do makeup with, to, for her to play with makeup. Well, it's also a great stand-in for a model. So I put that head on a light stand and I did the same thing. I played around with my uh, speed lights at the time, moved them around and see what I could do and see how movement of the lights and movement of the cameras affected what was happening with the model. And the model didn't complain, stood there all day for me and it worked really well. So you can do a lot and learn a lot just by stuff you find around the house. You don't need expensive gear, you don't need other people, you can learn about still life, you can learn about food photography, and you can learn about portraits. Real easy stuff. Find stuff around the house, grab a bottle, make a muffin, uh, find get an apple at the store. Play around with stuff, take stuff and shoot it. A watch, anything. Try new things and you're going to be amazed at what you'll be able to learn and how your lighting will improve just by, just by practice, just by getting it done. So I'm going to do a few of these over the course of the next, I don't know, couple weeks. We'll see how long all this lasts. Um, and until then, stay safe, stay sane, take care of yourselves and your loved ones, and I'll talk to you soon. Cheers.